Hey YouTube, I have another Chinese air rifle to show you. This is a Model 62 air rifle that I got back in 85. You can barely read the markings on the receiver. Shanghai, China. And the Model 62 is right there. I don't know if you can barely, barely, barely see it. It was pretty cool. It had these adjustable sights that ramped up and down. It had a post, uh, a hooded uh, front post sight. And I remember I had to, I had to put some type of adhesive in there because the sight would uh, drift back and forth. I also had a lot of issues with these screws coming loose. And just the quality of the wood wasn't all that great. Pretty Spartan type gun, but what was super cool is it came with these sling swivels so I could carry it, which was, that was like first air gun I ever had with sling swivels. And uh, I shot the heck out of this thing. So to actuate it, you have to press this lever down and then cock the barrel. This is my this was my first uh, brake barrel air gun. And actually this is a leather seal that's right in there. So this gun hasn't been shot in I don't know. I don't know how long ago it's been shot. Many years. And press that in. You ready to go? There actually is there is no safety on it because it was the 80s and uh, you were responsible for yourself. So let us see about taking out that, that menacing looking Miller Lite can. Trigger pull is pretty stiff. Got it. I don't know where I hit it at. Let's try another one. Interesting. The trigger pull on this thing is awful. It's so stiff. <laughs> Let's go see how many holes I'm putting in it. I can't believe I'm not, I don't know why I'm not knocking that thing down. Okay, so I'm shooting. Looks like I'm shooting well to the left. That must be why. Oh no, that's I've had the thing facing me. I don't know, it's just not knocking it down. Yeah, other issues I had, I think the trigger guard would come loose. I'd have to tighten those screws up. Um, I don't remember what this thing cost back in the 80s. I want to say like $30, $40. So this was my first introduction really into Chinese-made stuff, and I, I really wasn't very impressed. But it did, like I say, it did have some cool features with the sling swivels. And being a brake barrel, it was much quicker to... Um, shoot than the pneumatic crossmans that I had. So I enjoyed it. Enjoyed shooting it. It's nice to see it still works. So if you have any questions, leave some comments below. I decided to make this new channel to uh, a more of a power sports channel, but I like air guns and didn't really fit the viewers that are on my normal channel. So I created this one and I've got a number of air guns I'd like to just put out there that um, I don't know if they have a whole lot of information on. Okay. So if you like this type of thing, I'd appreciate it if you would hit like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.